Bohemians arrived at the Carlisle grounds hoping to put a midweek League Cup loss at Dundalk behind them and build on their last out league win in Sligo. Almost a year ago to the day, Dinny Corcoran scored both in their 2-1 win away to Bray and on Friday night he was at it again. A neat finish from Keith Ward's beautifully weighted pass had Bowes in front after just six minutes. Bray's last home game had seen them beat high-flying Derry City and they sought a response. Gary McCabe driving his side forward before looking left to Corey Galvin. The winger drove into the penalty area tracked by Danny Grant. Galvin appealed for a penalty. Referee Sean Grant disagreed and brought out the yellow card. Bowes doubled their lead just past the half-hour mark and this time it would be Ward's turn. Shane Supple's goal kick was flicked on by Oscar Brennan. Sean Heaney failed to deal with it, leaving Ward with plenty still to do. But he produced a typically impudent finish, lobbing Evan Moran for a goal of real quality. Late in the half, the visitors came within a whisker of a third. After Bray failed to clear with any conviction, Brennan fed Dylan Watts, who turned sharply before letting fly with a terrific outside-of-the-boot effort that carried just over Moran's crossbar. Having had a couple of first-half penalty claims waved away, Bray did get the whistle they wanted in first-half added time. A slick move involving Galvin, McCabe and Paul O'Connor ended with Ronan Coughlin, the two-goal hero of the Derry win, getting to the ball ahead of Supple. The penalty was awarded and skipper Gary McCabe would do the needful, smashing the ball into the top corner and the home side weren't waving goodbye to the points just yet. Into the second half, Bray hunted an equaliser. As Bowes backed off, Heaney advanced from centre half and unleashed a dipping left-footed effort that whistled just wide. But Bowes would ensure themselves of all three points with 16 minutes to go. Corcoran was again involved, rolling Reese Gorman before switching play from left to right to pick out Owen Stokes. The substitute, a mere six minutes on the pitch, belied an increasingly narrowing angle to flash a brilliant effort past Moran and ensure back-to-back -back league wins for the first time this season for Bowes. Just before half-time, it's a great uh, time to get a goal, you know, and, and I thought we started the second half really brightly um, and a couple of set-pieces delivered in and a couple of half-chances, but we didn't create any really clear-cut chances, you know. We started the game really brightly, uh, scored a terrific first goal, uh, got the second goal and, we, uh, you know, for some reason we seem to take our foot off the pedal and we've uh, we've allowed the opposition uh, way back in. Um, at the, uh, in the in the extra time of, of the first half, so uh, with the penalty, so you know we lived a little bit dangerously in the in the second half. It was a bit of a nervy performance, um, second half until we got the tour goal.